Cause I'm a wheel burner Always burning down the road Yes, I'm a wheel burner This life never gets old Hey, wheel burners, how we doing today? Looks like we got a beautiful day. We got blue skies and sunshine. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, the wheel man is driving. Uh, so far, it's been a really good couple of days. It's now uh, Thursday, so he's been now he's been with me since Monday. Um, he's got a lot of good good driving in. Um, he's doing really well. Uh, the things that he's doing well, he's doing really well, and the things that you know he still has to learn. He's picking up really quick, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, there's just still, you know, a lot of it's just intricacies that he can't learn unless he does them. So as situations arise, you know, he's working on them. We're, we're, we're discussing, we're talking, we're working on it. And uh, things are going really well. I'm actually really quite happy. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit surprised. Um, not to blow up his ego. <laughs> So anyway, uh, so the plan for today is that we pulled out of Moncton this morning. We're expected to be in Toronto, uh, I would say probably late, to, not late tonight, but uh, sometime after supper tonight. And that's the plan. Uh, we're just going to truck along. He's going to probably bang off, uh, get us back up into Quebec. And then I'll take it from there and, and get, us, uh, get us back into Toronto for tonight. Um, but, uh, you know, all's, all's well. I'm really happy with what's going on here. He's doing well. I did not end up with a dipshit, so that's uh, that's kind of important when you're training and you're working with people and you're living in a confined space. So yeah, there you go. That's the update for the morning. If anything exciting happens or anything more happens, uh, we'll discuss it and uh, we'll throw a video up or we'll uh, add on to this one. Catch you in a bit. Woo. All right, so we uh, pulled out of Moncton. Um, I'm not sure what town we're in. I didn't even look. Will was driving. Um, but we're going to stop here. Uh, we've been driving for about two and a half hours. Will's been driving for about two and a half hours. He's just doing a quick EVI. That's a, an external vehicle inspection. So he's going to do that. Um, I don't, not required. I'm not going to be required to follow him around while he's done this. He's done probably about 30 of these now since he's been on the road with me. Um, this is just a quick inspection. You're not you're not doing a full full log inspection here. Um, and this this it's not um, I guess it's not DOT required that you do it every time you stop. Um, but our company would like that. ET would prefer that you do that. So we're going to oblige them with it. So he's doing that. Um, but the most important thing in this whole truck stop is that little building right over there. You know what that is? That's a Tim Hortons, and that's where Bry's gone. Bry's gonna go over and get his Tim's. Um, as you can see, we got a little bit of overcast. That's not bad. We're two, two or three degrees above zero here, so it's good driving weather. He's doing a good job here. Um, again, I'm happy. So yeah, just, just a little quick stop. Still in New Brunswick. Uh, we should be up in Edmonston, or we should be crossing into Quebec probably about an hour and 45 minutes. And then, uh, yeah, carry on. We're hoping, like I said, we're hoping to get Will up and to uh, let him drive and get him up to, uh, I would say somewhere between Quebec City and Montreal, and then and I'll, I'll take it from there. All in all, we're having a good day. Weather's good, everything's fine. Will's doing a great job. Um, so is his trainer, by the way. His trainer is, is doing a fantastic job. Um, I've seen the guy work. He's doing, uh, he's doing a great job. So, there we go. Uh, we'll check in a little later when we stop again and uh let you see how things are going with big willie here sorry about the wind it is windy as hell here all right talk to you in a bit so it's a good day uh my boy will now cameraman extraordinaire i knew i'd find something for him else something else for him to do um successfully banged off 510 today now for all of you is going yeah yeah 510 remember this is his first week out here 510 miles today impressive the wheels stayed on the ground the truck stayed upright uh, it's a good day um, I'm in my comfort zone now back where I should be I'm driving I'm gonna kick it from here we're just coming out the bottom end of Montreal 
or the bottom end. I, we're coming out the, the west end of Montreal. Um, and we're going to be in Toronto probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock tonight. And then we've got a quick turnaround. We're going to grab an empty trailer, load in Whitby, and then uh, take it easy for a day and uh, or so. And then we've got to be back in Nova Scotia for uh, 6 a.m. Monday morning. So that's another good, another good East Coast run out to Nova Scotia. Good miles, yes, bad for fuel economy. You climb a lot of hills and uh, whatnot. So it's a good day, it's getting a little dark. I kind of like this time of day. The sun's not in your eyes, it's not too bright, but it's, it's not dark yet. It's good for driving. So yeah, there we go. Um, have you ever been pondering though? Like these are the stupid things that I ponder. Um, like, why do you park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? I don't know. You know, I don't have a clue. It's just goofy, stupid stuff like that that comes into my head and there's no answer for it. So if any of you have an answer, give me the, put it down in the comments. Leave me a comment down below with your answer as to what that, what, what the reasoning is behind the, that question. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, turn on your notifications. Next time Will and I throw something up here, you've got a you've got a notification. You're gonna know about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we will see you down the road. Later.